Miles in Budapest, my my hidden treasure chest, golden grand piano, my beauty focus, me or you, oh you, oh I'd leave it all. So of course the first thing I will do, especially on a lazy day, is I will open up my phone and scroll through all of my social media and then I will reach for my laptop and scroll through Tumblr because I am obsessed with Tumblr and then I will also go grab my planner just to make sure that there is nothing that I had to do for this day and once I realize that my day is totally free and I can have a lazy day, I put on my slippers and I head downstairs for breakfast. Baby, if you want me, then all of this will go away. If you don't watch my vlogs, then you probably wouldn't know what I'm about to make for breakfast. And if you do watch my vlogs, you're awesome. But for breakfast, almost every single day, I make myself waffles with Nutella. And if you haven't tried it, you totally should. It's super, super simple and it is delicious. But it's definitely not healthy so if you are a health nut then this might not be for you but if you enjoy something kind of sweet in the morning then i definitely suggest that you try this and of course after i make my breakfast i always take it back up to my bed because who eats breakfast at a kitchen table on a lazy day and now i'm going to be showing you guys some of my lazy day essentials So my first lazy day essential is a really good moisturizer and this one is from Bath & Body Works. I also love my Nivea Lip Butter in Raspberry Rose Kiss and of course you have to give yourself a manicure. So this is Go Ginza by Essie. And now moving into the makeup and hair. So this is basically my everyday makeup routine but simplified because who wants to do that entire makeup routine when you're feeling super lazy. So I'm going to have that video linked down below if you want to know any product names or anything like that because I don't want to waste time talking about it on here when you could go watch that video or maybe you already even know the products that I'm using. So this is the final makeup look. I know it's nothing too special, but it's definitely something that I like doing on a lazy day. And then for hair, obviously I want to keep it kind of simple. So I decided to take my dry shampoo and spray that into my roots just to soak up any extra oil and add a lot of volume. And obviously then I would get dressed and before running out the door, I would do the essentials, putting on deodorant, perfume and of course brushing my teeth because no matter how lazy you are you always have to brush your teeth because if you don't that's disgusting and let me know if i'm not the only one who does this but am i the only one who when i'm brushing my teeth i like to multitask and watch youtube videos that might be just me <laughs> can you see my breath on camera yep Ooh. My lazy day outfit of choice this day consisted of a big chunky sweater from Oasap, a regular t-shirt, a pair of jeggings, jeggings, not regular jeans, from Air Postal, a J. Crew scarf, and my Ugg moccasins. And this obviously isn't the most ideal situation having to go out and run errands on a lazy day, but I decided that I would show you guys a really good hair, makeup, and outfit for those days where you were kind of forced to go out. And this day, I wasn't complaining too much considering I had to go to Urban Outfitters, which is my favorite store, and I picked up some stuff that you might be seeing in a upcoming haul and that is basically it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you're new here make sure to subscribe and i will talk to you guys very soon bye